In this video, you'll learn how to communicate with backend services using JavaScript so you can be one step closer to being a millionaire programmer. Before we get to the fun stuff, let's start with the basics. The front end, also known as the client, is the code executed in the user's browser. Every browser contains its own interpreters for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, created from scratch or stolen from Google. One example of this is Chrome's V8 engine for executing JavaScript. After interpreting the source code, the browser then renders this onto the page. That's great, but we need a way to store this code to deliver to the browser upon request. This is where the server comes in. The server is a computer specialized in handling large bulks of data spontaneously. These often run databases to store the data that is sent over. These servers run backend applications that are executed on the server and the server only. The backend is responsible for handling data sent from the client. The backend application runs an online API that can be accessed and interacted via the HTTP protocol. We are nearly at the fun part, I promise. The front end sends the HTTP request to the route in the API. Let's say that you want to add a new user called Carl. Firstly, we need to specify the type of HTTP request that we are sending to the server. In this case, it will be of type POST, as we want to post to the database. Optionally, request can have a body. As we need to specify the username of Carl, this will be required. We convert this data to the JSON format and then send this request, which is then received by the backend application. The backend then processes this data as programmed to and adds Carl to the database. The backend then sends a success message to confirm Carl has been successfully added to the database. This is often communicated with the HTTP status code, in this case, 200. We'll now show a practical example of communicating with an API using JavaScript. Firstly, we need to create a HTML file and add a script to it. We will be using the JSON placeholder API, as this is an already made API ready for us to use. I'll leave a link in the description to the site and the routes we'll be using. Firstly, we'll need to create an asynchronous function, as fetching from the API will take a small amount of time. We will then run this function at the bottom of our script. We'll be fetching the to-dos from the JSON API. I'll have the URL for these linked in the description. You'll see that opening this URL in the browser will display the data that the API returns. This is the same structure to what will be returned in our script. We now need to use the fetch function to make the HTTP request to the API. You can now pass in the URL. This will require the get request type, but we don't need to specify this as the default type is already get. Ensure you put a wait before executing the function and assign it to a variable. We then need to get the JSON format from this response, so we can then await the response conversion to JSON and assign it to our result variable. If we now log this variable, we should see our JSON data converted to a JavaScript object. We can then do whatever we wish with this data in our application. In this case, I decided to display all the to-dos onto the web page. If you'd like to see a future demonstration of building a backend application, let me know by liking the video. And if you enjoy watching me pretend to know what I'm talking about, please be sure to subscribe.